What's up guys? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I'm out in my garage with my 2001 Plymouth Prowler and just want to show you something. The first thing that we're going to work on, uh, you know, I just got this car and uh, 2001, it's a 18 year old car basically. And it's a pretty good shape, pretty much bone stock, but a couple things that, you know, the nitpicky stuff that I do have to fix uh, or get, get straightened out or get addressed before I really start using it. Uh, includes this convertible top. Now the convertible top is actually in pretty good shape, but what might be a little hard to see here is that there is this um, sagginess I've noticed. And I noticed that I picked it up and you know, when you start driving kind of the low air pressure across the top actually makes it balloon out. And so it's kind of putting pressure, pulling the top out, not pushing it in, which is kind of what the conventional wisdom might think. So you can see here, we've got ripples where it should be nice and tight. And the reason is, you know, I've got the it clamped down there is that I've got some I guess you'd call it delamination it's separation of the convertible top from where it is essentially fused kind of like welded or glued to the glass you can see and, and in fact mine goes almost all the way around uh, it, it is starts uh, you know it's it's kind of glued right there still um, but even on this far side again I'm getting the separation all the way around now and I guess uh, well, it's pretty much, aside from it's the glue still in place, like right there, uh, I've got it pretty much separating all the way around there. So I actually might try to pry this up here. I don't know, it might be a good starting point and then kind of glue everything. I actually might just kind of try to glue everything and keep that there and then maybe pull that away and glue that second, uh, you know, kind of in a second pass. So one of the issues is that I read is that this is, can be kind of common, especially with convertible tops. I've had them before, lots of issues. I do like the fact that they have glass here as opposed to plastic, which I had on my BMW. And uh, the advantage, I guess, of the plastic is that it was sewed in. But one of the things that I read is that you can either replace the top, which is what guys do, and then there's some little bit of, uh, you know, opinion on whether you should go low end or the high end, and the high end ends up being pretty expensive. But... I did read a post by a gentleman who was on Prowler Online who used amazing goop to glue around the top here. And so I'm actually going to give that a shot. And like I said, uh, we'll show you some of the technique I use, but he said he had really great you know, success with this. Now this is the amazing goop automotive, which is what he actually said he used in his post. I actually bought some amazing goop uh, to max and I was kind of looking at the packages and trying to figure out what the difference is and I cannot figure it out My assumption was that the amazing goop max would be stronger, but as I was reading the uh, you know the description here flexible Waterproof UV resistant. I thought you know might as well just use the the automotive amazing goop and uh, Kind of at least go with what people are having success on right now instead of trying something new and so I'm just like I said gonna copy that now uh, because this amazing goop is kind of like in a toothpaste like um, canister I actually bought this syringe now it's this I guess it's a 60 millimeter syringe it's pretty big it has this uh, pop top as you can see it's not a needle but you know it looks kind of like well you know it's like a four or five millimeter diameter hole there so should be pretty nice out and that'll give me a little bit more control one uh, as I apply it but then also controlling the bead and uh, laying it down so and then just kind of protecting it my hands and the top from kind of getting too much glue on it now the other thing I'm gonna have to do here is I'm gonna unclip the top and then kind of roll it back a little bit because as you can see here the, the nice thing is there's like this actual dirt line where this top should be pulled down to now uh, because the weight of the top is kind of pulling it forward already what I'm gonna want to do is I think kind of relax the tension on the top so that once I glue it down it'll want to fall or I can kind of place it and maneuver it in uh, in the correct uh, spot to create the right amount of tension and then let it dry because as a minder my understanding is that this takes you know will kind of dry in 24 hours but really needs 72 hours to cure now because I'm in my garage and it's winter here and the garage isn't particularly heated but it's not oh, cold and frigid uh, I'm gonna give it probably more time than that and on top of that because I'm maybe only gluing the top or most of it and then might have to come back and do a little bit of detail work on the underside um, I want to be able to just kind of give myself plenty of time the winters are really long here in Chicago so 
Uh, that's what it is. Now, let me just show you the inside I'm here, on too. On the inside of the prowler here, and I just want to show you that there is like the second piece of fabric that uh, kind of the glass gets sandwiched in between. Now, I don't think that this has as much, you know, tension on it, as you can see. And the glue here seems to be... Um, fixed all the way around. So I don't think I have to do anything with that. It's a little bit thinner. It actually kind of feels like jeans, like denim. And you can see a little bit of wear there. I might want to treat that a little bit, but at least I don't have anything on the inside. I feel like I have to glue. Okay. And what we're going to do here is just go ahead and undo the clips on the convertible top, which are kind of cool. You actually, this little retention clip there, you just lift, pull down and then you flip it up and then you just um, lift up the clip so that this piece on hinges and <laughs> what I've noticed is that you, if you pull it back down so it doesn't re-clip on there when you do the other side if, if not sometimes it, it just kind of falls back like it's gonna hook again and <laughs> can be kind of frustrating especially if you're trying to roll the convertible top down one you know with only one person. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the release handle here for the the back of the convertible top just to release it i'm not going to open the trunk i don't believe but that'll kind of relax uh the 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 very rear of the convertible top as well done with at least this round of gluing and actually what I ended up doing is kind of breaking the seal down there that I didn't think I was going to do so I kind of glued it all the way around I started at the top a couple of things that you may have seen in the video that I will tell you um, I kind of have figured out here is that even though I've got the top slacked up the glass kind of wants to slide down it's just the nature of gravity right and so uh, one of the things is that you can see here my dirt line I've got the top pretty close I was you could probably see me just kind of massaging it down a little bit to reach that. Um, and so the convertible top doesn't kind of want to reach it. The glass kind of wants to pull away from it. Uh, and the same token, the dirt line here, you can't actually see because it's right underneath the, the, the convertible top here. So I kind of was, I kept pulling, kind of tugging this down and tug and kind of tugging on the top to uh, the top to kind of come down further on the glass. So you kind of are fighting uh, the glass sliding down a little bit. Now, it wasn't a big deal, and I might have been a little pickier about exactly the, the alignment that I wanted. And in fact, what might end up happening is this might be a millimeter short here and a millimeter uh, too much overlapping where it was before, but that should hopefully just, you know, even out. Uh, but it's, it is pretty close, and because I have this uh, popped up too, there's, there's no tension really on the convertible top. Now, since I do have the glue all the way around, and as you can see, I was kind of massaging the top down. I didn't want to really press on it and squeeze the glue out, but I wanted to make sure that the glue, which I was really applying either to the fabric underneath or to right on top of the edge of the glass, that it's, you know, that the fabric and the glue are touching and that they've got, you know, a good adhesion uh, kind of permeating both sides of it. I also didn't clean the glass. I want to mention that too. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of like that residue on whatever glue or, you know, fusion material that they used before. And so I kind of wanted it to stay there because it kept a little, it made a little bit of a rough surface area on the glass, which I thought would actually hold better than um, trying to prep the glass myself with like a razor blade cutting it off and then using like a, a surface treatment, you know, or a cleaner or something like that to kind of clean it up or then even potentially scuff it up with a little sandpaper or something. So I, I left it, you know, all that original residue on there just to help kind of that, uh, the, the adhesion process. Now, you may see, despite how anal I was about some things, I do have a little bit of that amazing goop residue here. It kind of reminds me of like hot glue residue. It looks like it's coming off even this little string here. Um, and then you can see I've got a little bit, it might be a little hard here. If I, I don't know if I can focus in on that. But um, I do have a, just a little bit of glue kind of peeking out uh, through the bottom and then also through the top. Now I thought, one, if, if that actually shows, it's not a big deal, but I'd rather not fool around with it right now and try to use any solvent to clean it up. Uh, what I'd rather do is let it dry and then if it needs to be cleaned up, I'll either try it with a razor blade or I will just leave it because I'd rather have the top nice and secure as opposed to 
kind of worrying about the, the you know the glue material too much and you know you can see here i i got a little happy with the glue but i really do feel like you'd want more glue under the surface than less right um so this is actually probably the worst of it right here kind of as i'm massaging the, the top and and in some ways if you wanted to massage it in so that it kind of pushes the glue in that's that's probably not a bad strategy so i'm actually take like a q-tip and just try to clean up a little bit of this excess that's kind of excessive there but now i'm just going to kind of leave this what i actually thought i might have to do is get like some towels or something and lay it on there i don't want that really to end up getting glued together just to kind of hold everything in place but i think generally uh this looks like it's 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 going to place the glue is kind of tacky but it does not like cure quickly like even hot glue or super glue so i was able to kind of massage this and i can kind of still do it although it's starting to really get you know um you know it's getting kind of initial doing some initial hardening already which i can feel uh but as you can see obviously it's still liquidy um so maybe just i'll just kind of keep working it just a little bit maybe do try to do a little touch up on some of the glue that's sticking out now i have seen guys use this on like fixing headlights and things like that especially if you don't really care about just kind of trying to keep things functional and it does look like the glue dries clear so that's kind of one thing to keep in mind uh that you don't have like this white glue or colored you know this like uh um chalk colored or yellow colored glue kind of stick it out later but i'll do a little cleanup on some of these really excessive areas now we'll wait a few days and then uh check it out see if it's nice and sturdy try opening and closing the top and you know see if this is going to work or if i'm going to be buying a new convertible top all right guys so i thought we'd take a look at the convertible top here it's been three days exactly 72 hours and you know uh, my initial reaction to everything is that i'm pretty impressed and excited about it a couple things i want to tell you kind of in the process between that first hour and the last 72nd hour here is that after about an hour of applying this or maybe 30 to 40 minutes of applying this you know i did have some uh, areas where it was kind of oozing out now it started to get a little harder and so i was actually kind of dragging my finger on some of the extra ooze and it felt like actually really dry uh rubber cement and so some of it you could kind of roll away and it left some residue i wasn't too worried about that i did take a razor blade uh, kind of a regular razor blade not like a um the razor blade you use in the uh, shavers but you know the ones in the little plastic handle and kind of uh, scraped away some of the excess and it came away pretty nicely so you know my worry about being a little bit sloppy and having a little bit of kind of uh, some some areas where it oozed out not a big deal there you can definitely see it it might not be super easy in the garage here but I there's some areas where I could still clean it up a little bit but to be honest if I'm not going to be really anal about it, it's probably not going to matter. Even up here, you can see it uh, just a little bit. So I'm not going to sweat that too much, but it does seem, and I haven't cleaned it up, right? So a lot of this is just kind of res residue from where I use the razor blade to kind of get a nice, kind of clean it up to the edge a little bit, but I haven't cleaned out any of that little dust or obviously the dust from the garage. But as I'm touching it, it seems like it's pretty stiff and even where you know I was cutting away uh, a few moments ago um, it definitely seems like this amazing goop is kind of pliable so I, I do kind of buy into the uh, flexibility nature of it as opposed to you know if you've used super glue in the past you know that when it dries it dries like cement hard and can crack so that kind of gives me a little comfort too and because I didn't just put it right on the glass here I put it above uh, the glass as well. I'm hoping that I can kind of feel that that roll, that bead of glue that I put right up here. Um, I'm hoping that kind of spreads out the the burden, uh, kind of the stretch and the the tension that the top will be under. Now, um, I still have it slacked up here, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, lock it down against the uh, windshield and we'll just see hopefully everything stays in place so i've gone ahead and latched down the front of the top and i still have a little bit of slack here maybe actually a little more than i actually thought i was going to have um, it's not too bad but and it's certainly not as bad as wrinkly as it was before so i've taken up a little bit of, of that i think too you know i didn't um maybe you know i have another millimeter here where i could have pulled it down a little bit i don't think that's going to matter actually if i'm kind of pressing it down there you can kind of see the top rising up a little bit but it's definitely better. It's not catching my eye that there is like this big 
uh, dipped section here. Um, part of this may also just be the fabric top has been stretched over time. We will be conditioning this top here pretty soon too, uh, just to make sure it's nice and waterproof, but we're not gonna get any more tension back in the top than it has right now. So overall though, I'm pretty impressed. It doesn't look like I'll get water in this opening. Um, and you know, uh, I don't even think I need to be gentle with it. It definitely seems like a strong seal. You know, this review here and my kind of final comments are going to have the benefit of now driving around with this all summer and seeing how it holds up. I'll have to wait till the weather gets good before the car comes out. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. And, you know, even if it doesn't last forever, uh, the reality is it's kind of saving me from buying a new top right now. So there it is, the Amazing Goop Automotive Glue being used to glue back in the window on my Plymouth Prowler convertible top. Peter Von Panned out.